what is opening this week brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. We've got a bunch of movies opening up this week. We're only tackle one right now. So Ashley, what's on deck? The first film we're looking at this week is the new Disney film, The Finest Hours, based on a true story. On February 18th, 1952, a massive storm splits the SS Pendleton in two, trapping more than 30 sailors inside the tanker's sinking stern. Engineer Ray Seibert bravely takes charge to organize a strategy for his fellow survivors. As word of the disaster reaches the Coast Guard in Chatham, Massachusetts, Chief Warrant Officer Dale Clough orders a daring rescue mission despite the ferocious weather. Coast Guard Officer Bernie Weber takes three men on a lifeboat to try and save the crew against seemingly impossible odds. John, what did you think of The Finest Hours? Yeah, um, I actually got to go and see The Finest Hours at the world premiere yesterday. I went with uh, our own Natasha Martinez, came along with me actually. Watched the movie. And, and here's the thing. Everything I went to go see this movie for was awesome. What wasn't awesome was all the stuff I didn't go to see the movie for. And, and, and here, there's basically two movies that go on at once in this film. You have everything going on at sea. So you got Chris Pine on his way. You got Chris Pine and, um, uh, and his guys off to rescue the guys in the boat where Casey Affleck and his guys are. They need to be rescued. And everything that revolves around those aspects of the movie are awesome. Casey Affleck crushes it in this movie. Totally does. Ben Foster's excellent in this movie as well. And that's all great. The problem with the movie is that, without giving spoilers away, is there is a love interest to the uh, Chris Pine character back on land. And they keep going back to her on land for absolutely zero reason. Absolutely zero reason that has zero impact on anything going on in the story. So it's like these high seas, crashing waves, going under the water, blah, blah, blah. Let's cut back to land and watch Chris Pine's girlfriend get stuck in a snowbank. <laughs> and then let's go back out to sea and blah, blah, blah. And it's fine if you're just going back there for a minute or two, but it's like ignore unbalanced amounts of time were spent back on shore that had little to nothing to do with what was going out on the ocean. And that really put a big damper Oh, no pun intended, actually, no. uh, on on the rest of the film. <laughs> so I would say this. The good, to me, outweighs the bad. Because that stuff at sea and the and when you realize this is a true story, and then at the, they do one of those things a lot of true story movies did where in the end credits they show you a lot of the actual footage, the character next to the actual person in real life, wow. and all this kind of stuff. And you realize this was a true story. It floors you. And for me, all that great stuff outweighed the negative but this to me is a good movie that should have been a great movie and you know i've looked online and right now it's got like a 20 as of this morning it had like a 20 percent on rotten tomatoes oh really and i get it i do I, I totally get why enough people were turned off enough by the stuff that turned me off i'm just letting you guys know for me personally that good stuff was great and it was great enough to outweigh the negative so i ended up enjoying it i recommend you see it but you'll probably walk out going, man, there was a missed opportunity here because this could have been one of the year's best films. Mm. It really could have been, and it was hampered by a split personality a lot. Anyway, Mark, have you been looking forward to this one? Uh, I, I, I have. I remember seeing The Finest Hours when you and I and Christian were at the D23. Uh, we went to the live action yeah. day, and The Finest Hours just seemed like another movie because we were so excited for Star Wars and Jungle Book Blow Us Away and like, oh, are we going to see what Emma Watson looks like as Belle and Beauty and the Beast? And then they have The Finest Hours presentation, and it's like, okay, this is another movie that's coming out, but the based on a true story aspect of it and the, the fact that these are real people that were risking their lives to save each other that is what really gets me into a theater. I love watching those kind of movies. So just based on that premise alone, I want to see this movie. I have the chance to see it tonight. So I'm looking forward to checking it out. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad that, you know, I wasn't really looking forward to seeing it. But after hearing what you said, you know, I, I kind of am a little more interested now to see like the drama unfold in, on the sea and then maybe like go take a bathroom break. Is it long enough? To, like, <laughs> I say, go now get we a, know when yeah, our pee breaks yeah, are. Okay, it, go get a refill. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.